drinking, I nah, ain't about to battle nobody. I'm looking for those beats that right when you put it on, you know, all that that song. Hey. That's the one. Yeah. Hear me out, though. I know if I, if I fuck with the beat. Don Q, garbage. Seconds, I know if I can write it. Get a hook down to it. You know, you could, like, I ain't even like, no Tory Lanez fan. Exactly. <laughs> but Don Q trash. Bro really hurt his own career. How you body bag yourself? Um, Jid and Tori. Jid and Tori is something that I don't really want to see. I'm going to tell you something. Hey, that's hard. Um, I like your humming. What's up? Get the real for the jump. Look, how you make a phone call, I'm not joiner, and do worse than joiner? Don Q, an idiot. But look, this goes to all y'all rappers. If you don't really rap like that, don't do it. It's levels to this rap shit. If you really ain't that nice, Cause you just gonna make yourself look stupid And you gotta know in your you know, We all rappers You know when you can't shoot the ball You ain't gonna shoot no three Like you see the big man's at the three point And the other person play far away defense Cause he know you ain't gonna shoot it Cause you ain't got no jumper Alright Adam 22 You ain't got no jumper So that goes to all you niggas If you don't really rap rap like that Stay out of rap beat, bro. <laughs> this shit is for people who really do this. If you don't really do this, stay out of it. So going back to the Jid and the Tory Lanez thing. Jid is my man, but I don't believe Jid should entertain this. Jid is my man. And I fuck with Jid on a super level. But I don't think Jid should entertain this because he don't understand how the mind of battle rap people work. Tory Lanez is a battle rapper. Jid is a very dope rapper. Jid is probably one of the best rappers ever. He's a rapper, but this is battle. Like, this is battling. Tory Lane's been in scuff. He know how this shit work, bro. So what I'm saying is, I don't think this is something that Jay should enter. Don Q was never good at battle rap, and we don't know him. What What you mean he came from? Nigga, I'm one of the best battle MCs in the universe. I never heard of him. Fuck you talking about he came from battle rap. Where? Nigga, fuck you talk. He came from that. Where? Fuck, nigga. I never heard of him. Never seen him in any bit. What the fuck you talk about? That nigga ain't come from battle. He probably battled a few niggas in the random streets in the back New York alley somewhere. Fuck you talk about, nigga. Look, what I'm saying is this. I believe Jid is better than Tory Lanez lyrically. Hear me out. I believe Jid is better than Tory Lanez lyrically. Joyner Lucas is also better than Tory Lanez lyrically. But in this case, that is not what's needed. Right? Joyner Lucas is a, ba a way better lyricist than Tory Lanez. Jid is also a way better lyricist than Tory Lanez. But in this case, in this case, that's look, I'ma break something down to you. 
Drake had the better verse. Oh, this clean. This real clean. Drake Duppy. Drake had the better verse. Drake clearly out rapped Pusha T, but none of that shit mattered. <laughs> Nigga got a Dorito stuck in his like upper n- nasal thing. <laughs> but nah, look. It ain't about. It ain't about none of that, bro. Oh, this hard. This sound like some raw shit. Raw. Gross. Gross. I stole a nigga name. Pursue his whole life. Never live my life like a boss. I'm the fake Rick Gross. Used to be a cop. <laughs> then I stopped being a cop when my album dropped. Boss. I put a lot of niggas in jail. Boss. <laughs> I can hear Hov on there. Ho. 300 miles in Africa. They laugh at you. Ho. Ho be saying all type of words you ain't never heard of. Spent 300 on the Galactic. Ho be saying all type of things you never heard a nigga say before. Ho be in a different bag. Just came back from outer anarchy. Spent 300 on the Galactic. Ho. Ho be saying all type of things. That nigga hove in a whole different room, but bracket and up. That nigga hove get on the beat. Just came from Mars. Bought the planet, it's ours. I own a star. <laughs> Yo, my nigga hove be in a whole different black. Just cashed out on the Milky Way galaxy. Yo, Hov probably owns some planets and things. <laughs> no, feel me. <laughs> no, this be smooth though, uh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Ho. Ho. Beyonce, my girl. Oh. Uh. They want me off the top. Uh. I need an offer from top. Uh. A Dreamville, a Dream Kill, Dream Quill. Nigga slid. Shouts out to my nigga Jig. <coughs> Shit. <laughs> Feel me? I was about to go in. Gross. I'm about to push I got some shout out. Take care. All right, bro. You ever see how slow niggas work? Yeah. Come on, P. Yeah. I already know, bro. I already know. I'm dealing with some shit too. I gotta push. It's over. Yeah. But how how I get out of this way, right? Yeah.
Was it this way or this way? I don't remember. It was this way, right? All right, hit me tomorrow. They, got anything they don't got nothing, bro. No. I, I, I just talked about this way. I can't. Yeah. I got to move, P. Hit me tomorrow. Let's put something together. Yeah, sure. I got you. All right, uh, we down this way, right? Yo. No, nah, you know, you you know how I be telling y'all it's just like certain energy and shit. Like I'm in a studio I never been to, but it's just a bunch of stuff that I'm not really into. You feel me? Like I'm not really with the just max blowing weed and blowing buzz and all that shit. And like we've been here for like two hours, niggas ain't got nothing done. Like, I'm I'm not with that. Bro. I'm out of here. <clears throat> y'all see how I work when I'm at home, nigga? My nigga, I knock out a whole album in a fucking hour. Like, I'm on some different shit. I don't got time for those type of vibes. I'm like, I'm out there. Nah, I just, I just don't be with those type of... I'm not for niggas just rolling up maximum bud over. Like, niggas just rolling blunt after blunt after blunt. Like, nigga, this is a studio, bro. We got to work. I'm not with all that shit, my nigga. I ain't come here. I ain't come here to just keep looking through shit. And, yo, niggas is retarded, bro. Now I really see why niggas don't get nothing done, bro. Niggas really fucking druggies, bro. That shit's kind of irritating. Like, now I see why niggas don't get nothing done, bro. Like, I literally be doing albums in a whole day, bro. Like, I, like I'm like i the only nigga that'll do an album in a day and shoot all the videos and all that in the same day, bro. Yo, these niggas smoke too much, bro. That shit low-key got me mad. Like, I can't do it, bro. the home address in bro. But yeah, bro. I can't, my nigga, I can't be around this type of shit, bro. I think I was supposed to turn right there. It's just maximum, like, bro. I ain't with all this hot boxing shit. I ain't with all that shit. I got shit I got to do, bro. Said right, right. Said window. Four mountain. Oh, we go. I'm with all that shit. And I'm out of here, bro. I don't give a fuck about none of that, my nigga. I ain't about to sit nowhere that, bro. I just feel vibes. I feel energy. When my mind tell me go, I'm out of here, bro. I don't give a fuck about how you feel. I don't give a fuck about nothing. What you talking? I'm out of here, bro. I don't care about nothing. I don't care about none of that. I'm out of here. Walk right out. Fuck all y'all. I'm out of here. Just ain't the vibes I'm on, my nigga. I ain't with all this just maximum weed smoking and just you drugging over. Like, we ain't get, but we been with three hours. My nigga ain't got nothing done. Man, I'm out of here. Like, the more you smoke, do you get higher? I don't know, my nigga. Like, I don't know why niggas smoke back to back to I don't know, bro. This shit is weird. I, I don't get how niggas just keep smoking back. To, I don't get it, bro. I really don't understand. Like, I don't get why niggas don't roll more than one blunt. Like, nigga, <laughs> if you know you gonna smoke another blunt right after this one, why not roll, bro? I'm done with these niggas, bro. Niggas really would roll one blunt, smoke it, and be like, yo, roll up. My nigga, why didn't you roll three of them? Yo, I, I just can't, my nigga. I, I can't, bro. I'm over this world. I'm, I, it just ain't my vibe, my nigga. Like, like everything was cool, but when niggas start hotboxing and just, I'm out of here, bro. I ain't with all that. I ain't come here for none of that, my nigga. I'm a workaholic. I'm addicted to work, my nigga. I'm not addicted to all the other shit. I'm addicted to work, my nigga. If we ain't working, I ain't even got time for it. But going back to what I was saying, with the Jid, the Jid and Tory thing. Right. 
No, going back to what I was saying with the Jid and Tori, now let's change the energy. Going back to what I was saying with the Jid and Tori shit, like, I believe Jid could outrap Tori. I believe Jid could literally dismantle Tori from a lyrical standpoint. But sometimes that ain't what it is in this type of situation. Tori is a character. You got to have a character to even be able to match with this dude. If you don't have, you got to think, my man smile a lot. He laughable. He going bald. It's all tight. He a short R&B singer, rapper. Like, niggas, bro, you got to have a specific type of character. You got to have a character, bro. You got to have some type of character, bro. But this is the crazy part. Amongst all of the things that you can say, bro, can still rap. So, you got you can't just combat him from a lyrical standpoint. My man, my man, he knows how to compete with every style. Like he went in the trap shit with Joiner. He rapped like Drake on the next track. He no, he he knows how to chameleon. And this is what he does. People not paying attention to the game takes, bro. He's really playing battle rapper rules. He let these niggas shoot their gun first, and then he go back and smoke you. He let you shoot your gun for a dog. This ain't live battle rap. This ain't live battle rap to where you got to come up with shit on the spot. My nigga, these niggas will sit on your track and figure out how to beat it. They got time. You record, they in the studio listening to your shit over and over, figuring out how to be better than yours. They got time, bro. So look. I'm saying this, and I'm pretty sure Jid, because Jid out here right now, I'm pretty sure he's going to watch this and he's going to see this. Don't entertain that, Jid. If you got a problem with bro, just beat him up. Don't rap with him. Fuck the talking. Just beat bro. Don't, don't, don't rap with bro. Just beat him up. I mean, that, I mean, that ain't no, bro, ain't no rapping, bro. Jid nice, though. Jid nice with the words, bro. It's just, bro, you got to have a certain form of projection for battle rap. Even in, like, like battle, like, making music, you got to have a certain form of, like, projection. You got to have a certain way to attack these beats. I think Jid is a lyricist. I don't think he's a battle MC. He's a lyricist. And that might not work in his favor in things like this. Now, don't get me wrong. Like I said, I believe he could smoke Tory Lanez, bro. This is what I'm saying. Hear me out. So nobody won't ever get this shit confused. I believe in all with all my heart Jig could smoke Tory Lanez but in this case we're talking about battling different rules apply it's not always about being more technical it's not always about being more witty it's not always about none of that it's a lot of different factors that come into shit like this Now, Cole, what? for example, J. Cole, J. Cole is a nigga that's not as witty, right? J. Cole is not as witty as Jid. Jid is witty. He's like witty, witty, witty. Right? Cole is not as witty as Jid, but Cole has a bigger voice than Jid to where he could go, hey, little nigga. Let me talk to you like a little nigga. You get what I'm saying? Like if Cole reply, Cole is gonna talk to you like a little nigga. He gonna slow, like he gonna slow cook you. And I think that's what was needed right now. Like somebody to slow cook him, right? Like Royce was gonna do. Royce was gonna slow cook him. And Tory knew, you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna bark up this Royce to five nine tree. That ain't the type of ass whooping I want. These niggas are grown men. One day it was suck my dick. The next day it was I know when to apologize. <laughs> I know when I'm wrong. Because you know. 
is levels to this rap shit. Monday, suck my dick. Tuesday, I apologize. There's levels to this rap shit. And these niggas know that. Don't play with certain individuals. Don't do it. You got gods and you got humans. Royce is one of the gods. If not the god. The fuck? That's the wrong nigga to be playing with. Royce might be the scariest nigga in the world on tracks. That's the wrong out of... Bro, you can fuck with anybody in the world but Royce. That nigga's a demon. Bro, boy, did you hear Royce's last album? Royce's last album was so cold, they... Nobody even talked about it in this realm. You had to die. You had to die, and it was like Moses and all them niggas. Yeah, that new voice, crazy. Jesus. Hey, Jesus, put that in. Book around was so motherfucking crazy. Bro, this is what I'm saying. There's levels to this rap shit, bro. And these rap niggas know who to play with and who not to play with. So I feel like this. I don't really even know who all on Dreamville. I just know Cole, Jig, and Cos. Who else on Dreamville? Boss, Roman, and some I don't know none of them other niggas. No disrespect, I just don't know them. But Cos is nice, my nigga. And I don't think, I don't think Cos, I don't think, I don't think uh, Tory could do nothing with Cos, but he ain't gonna go after Cos because he probably feel Cos not big enough for him. Uh, but uh, he'll go after Jid to get the cold. But like, I just hit cold. Remind you, I just hit cold. I'm like, hey, cold. All you gotta do is say the word, G. He started laughing. You know, I think it, no, G. We don't want Thanos in this shit. We trying to fight our regular Avenger war. Get your fucking god ass out of here. Yo, they don't never want to let me in the war. I'm mad. They don't never want to let me in the human fight. And, you know, get your ass up there with Royce and them. Nope. That shit weak. <laughs> Being good is a curse. That's why I be doing all the antics and all the stupid things. So I can lower my skill level. I be doing all the fuck shit so I can lower my skill level so I can beef with the Lil Zans in them. They be like, nope, nigga, you ain't you too good. You can't play in this miniature league. I thought Drake was really about rap beat to push a body to shit. That nigga went and came back up with meat and all that. Drake a cold nigga, bro. <laughs> hey, Drake like a cold. Yo, you know why I like talking about Drake? Cause he my friend, bro. And I'm not afraid to talk about my friend. Drake got his shit body by pusher and really said, hell me. We got to end all of these problems. <laughs> My man Drake was picking on Meek Mills, bro. He really was picking on him. Like, I was feeling bad for me. I'm like, damn, Drake, you just going to hurt this man. Come here now. Me got bad luck. He's slipping down the stairs and all type <laughs> of shit. I said, Drake, Drake then went to this man's house, put dishwashing liquid on his stairs. Now me slipping and all type of shit. Damn, Drake. Then all of a sudden, Drake shot the diss track. He thought, remember when he did the dopey shit? He thought he was in smooth selling. He like, oh, nigga, I killed Pusher. Yep, I'm the best disser ever. Pusher came back with, man, fuck all that rap shit. You got a son. 
<laughs> Fuck all that rap shit and all them things you talking about, all that flip flopical shit. Bitch, you got a son. Drake was like, oh, oh, no. I thought nobody would ever do it. Then my man did the interview with LeBron. This is not the rules of diss tracks. You're not supposed to get that personal. My man Degrassi side came all the way back out. This whole Canadian color started showing after that. Oh, this is not the way we are supposed to do things. Oh. <laughs> My man was about to cry in the interview with LeBron. Oh. You know, this is not the rules of battle rap. And you know, guys, we not supposed to do this. I was looking at Drake like, but it was just fun when y'all were doing back-to-backs and things. <laughs> and now y'all don't want to do things? <laughs> <laughs> now y'all don't want to do this thing. And you want to... Canadian brother. He was just doing all type of dumpies and back to backs and things. And then he get in the interview saying, this is not the way. My man, my man got ripped so bad he went and made friends with me. I said, damn Drake, you like a cold nigga. disc record holder and then he had a stop the disc record movement <laughs> we don't need to be doing this guys just bullying bitch you were just bullying the dog shit out of me now you want to do team uh, things you you want to you want to do things <laughs> oh my boy Drake a cold finesse my nigga Drake be finessing his way back into the spotlight by all means. I fuck with Drake though, he ain't gonna never die. My boy Drake the finesse. The lock, lock finesse monster. <laughs> Bro, but for real. Yo, you know what? You know what the best thing about this whole rap beef shit though? All the mumble rap niggas is getting MIA. That's the best thing about all of this. It take the attention from all the Lils. Everything with that name Lil in it. Them niggas out of it. Good. Was it raining or something? The floor look wet. Yep. It ain't no more room for all the little things. All those little, uh, little tournaments and little things, <laughs> what they name it. Yep. It take all, it, it put the pressure on the rap thing. I like that. I love when the rap beef kick off because all these little weak things be pushed out the way. Good. Get your ass out of here, nigga. Motherfucking juice, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Your sad ass out of here, nigga. The real, 
See, you didn't hear this depression when niggas was rap beefing. Imagine nigga talk about, you know, I can't listen to that Nas Ether because there are shadows in my room. What? Man, we had Ether and 99 problems and all type of shit. Nigga, we wasn't no depressed. Man, get y'all depressed ass up out of here, you fucking emo trippy reds and all y'all singing things. Get out. Damn it. All y'all whining, singing things. Get out. The rap thing is back. <laughs> Get out now. Damn it. Nobody cares about your shadows in your room, bitch. We out here rapping bars. Fuck you in there crying about shadows for it. y'all niggas man get with y'all niggas in the morning I got like another fucking eight mile walk in the morning my workout with my strength shoes so I get with y'all niggas in the morning shouts out to Wakanda